In this video, I want to go over some uh, examples of simplifying algebraic expressions. Let's start uh, with the simplest of algebraic expressions. So suppose this is, say, 10k take away 6k. So here you ask them the question, 10k stands for 10 lots of k. 10k stands for 10 lots of k. So this is 10 lots of k take away 6 lots of k which is 4k. Now for some of you, this skill, you may not understand why is this so important. Now this is basically something you may or may not have done in numbers. Suppose, I'll give an example in number. Suppose you have, say, 10 times, 10 times 4, take away 6 times 4. So yeah, to do an efficient, you can do, this is 40 take away, this is one way of doing it. This is same as, this is 10 times 4, you use the Bidness rule first, you have to it multiply and then take away. So this is 40 take away 24. Okay, so 40 take away 24, 40 take away 20 is 20 and then take away 4, which is 16. Or you can check 24 plus 16. Now this is, of course, uh, this is not difficult, but if you want to use algebra, yeah, a scale of algebra, so this is, here yeah, you're saying this is 10 lots of 4, take away 6 lots of 4. This means this is 10 lots of 4. This is one thing that you should understand. This is 10 lots of 4, take away 4 lots of, sorry, 6 lots of 4. 10 times 4, when you say lots of 4, what does that mean? 10 times 4 is adding 4, you can say this is adding 4 10 times or adding, uh, you can say this is adding 4 10 times or adding 10 4 times. Okay, so I'm saying this is 10 lots of 4. So you can say 4 plus 4 plus 4, if you add 10 times, you can get 40. And this is 6 lots of 4. 6 lots of 4 means if you add 4 6 times, you're going to get 64. So this is same as saying, this is 10 lots of 4 take away 6 lots of 4. How many lots of 4 are remaining? That is 4 lots of 4. This is the simple understanding of algebra. And 4 lots of 4, and what, is four lo what does 4 lots of 4 mean? That is 4 times 4, which is 16. And this is an efficient way of doing uh, manipulating uh, numbers. Okay, so here I can... It's suppose I'll give one more example, suppose. So this should be clear, and this is where algebra is so useful. Suppose say you have 12 times 8 minus, say, 12 times 3. Okay, so here, if you want to do efficiently, this is 12 lots of 8 take away, uh, yeah, uh, I should say, I should change this. So let me make this 12 lots of 8 take away, say, let me put, think of a number, 5 times 8. So this is 12 lots of 8 take away 5 lots of 8. That means this is 7 lots of 8, which is 56. This is an efficient way of doing it. So let me show this on the calculator. Okay. So this is. 12, okay, so this is 12 times 8, take away 5 times 8, which is 56, okay, and that is same as saying 7 lots of 8, okay, so this is the first question, so let's, let me do a few more questions, so the second question is this, you have, say, y times 4, y times 4 is same as writing this is 4 times y. And what does this mean? This is 4 lots of y. Okay, this means, and if you want to put this in words, 4 times y is 4 lots of y. 4 lots of y. I'm trying to explain the algebra. So this is 4 lots of y. 4 times y is 4 lots of y is, you can say y plus y plus y plus y which is 4y. In algebra, you write 4 lots of y like this. Okay, so again, 
here again it's always good go back to number suppose this is 2 times 6 okay so what does this mean this is this it this means 6 lots of 2 or 2 lots of 6 so you can say this is 2 lots of 6 so you can say this is 2 lots of 6 you can say this is 6 plus 6 which is 12 or the same thing can also be said as 6 lots of 2 so that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so there are how many lots? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's also 12. Okay, so basically y times 4 is 4 times y and 4 times y is 4y. Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay, question 3 or question C is say 4m times m. Okay, now there are certain things that you need to know in algebra uh, before I do this. So m plus m, m plus m, plus m, there are three lots of m. So this is 3m. But if it is m times m times m is, the are multiplying m three times, is written as m cube or m to the power 3. So let me give an example. Say you got 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 4 lots of, so the 3 lots of 3. Sorry, this is 3 lots of 4. So this is the same as writing 3 times 4. Okay, 3m plus m plus m is 3 lots of m, which is 3 times m. So this you can also write as this is 3 times m. And 3 times m, you write as 3m. But if it is 4 times 4 times 4, this is 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. This is 4 cube. Okay, and 4 cube is 64. So let me show you that on a calculator. So if you go 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Or if you go 4 to the power 3 is 64. But if you go 4 plus 4 plus 4, this is 3 lots of 4, that is 12. Okay, so here, let's expand this out. So this is same as writing 4 times m times m. Now m times m is, you write as 4 times m squared. And m squared, 4 times m squared is same as writing 4m squared. These are basic things, but you should know the difference of writing these things. Okay, so let me give you one, one more example. Suppose if it is, say, 2m times 3m squared. Okay, so here, to simplify this, Let's expand this out. So this is right same as writing 2 times m times 3 times m times m. I'm just expanded this. This is 2m. This is 2m. And this is 3m squared. So this is this. And this is this. So now let's group the numbers and the letters separately. So this is 2 times 3. You can when you're multiplying numbers, you can multiply in any order. It doesn't make, make any difference. Times m times m times m times m. I've just grouped the numbers and the letters separately. Okay. Now I'll change color. Now you can do two times three is six, and m times m times m times m is m to the power four. This is four. We're multiplying 4, sorry, m 4 times. And this simplifies to 6m squared. 